Hey, YouTube fan, Joe Pal Big D back here again with a pickups video. I have not done one of these for a while. Um, I don't know why. I guess because I didn't have a whole lot of extra stuff to show you guys, and I felt a, a video to do with like, hey, I got these three movies would be kind of lame. So I waited till I got a few, and I got a nice little decent stack here right now. So this is just stuff I've picked up over the last couple months um, from a Rasputin thing I did a, uh, a while back, and um, just random things I found around town. Yeah, so this is just what it is. So let's just start off. It's a combination to a few DVDs, a few Blu-rays, there's even a couple 4Ks, I believe, and a couple Steelbooks. So, um, yeah, let's just get started. All right, so um, first off, I'm going to show you these two I picked up. As you know, I've told you before, I'm trying to collect the whole series of these. So I currently now have 26 out of the 40. So I did pick up two more of these recently. I got uh, Volume 7 and Volume 11. So I am doing pretty good with that. I do love these. You should, yeah. Eventually I'll do a Star Trek video where I show you all my Star Trek movies that I have because I have a lot. Um, and I actually put these all together. And on the shelf when they're all spine like this, it looks really cool. So, um, But I managed to pick up two more of those. Um, next, I picked this up at Walmart a while back. Um... Because I heard really good things about it. It's done by the writers of The Quiet Place and uh, Eli Roth. It's called Haunt. Watched this um, day or two before Halloween. It was really cool. It's it's kind of like um, a couple of movies that come out recently. It's about a group of kids that go to this um, haunted house. But the haunted house turns out to be not so much haunted as in they are dying left and right. Really well done. I really like this a lot. I was really surprised, especially direct to, to video. The filming quality was really good with it. It was actually had um, a, a good plot to it. And I actually really enjoyed it. I plan on watching it again. But uh, Haunt. I, if you get a chance, check it out. It's a cool flick. So I picked that up. And then this one was part of a Rasputin haul I did a while back. Um, it's a book, a book. A movie called Book of Monsters. Love this movie. I really like this movie. I picked it up on a whim. Watched it. Absolutely loved it. Really cool monster flick um essentially it's you know monsters uh this girl's having her 18th birthday and she's prophesied to be this new like monster slayer and these monsters attack and it was actually a lot of fun i really enjoyed it um i don't i th i want to say this was made in like new zealand or england or somewhere it definitely wasn't even made in the united states I got, this is a region free disc so but i got that next i picked up this is a 4k title i picked this up because i heard it looks amazing in 4k and that's scarface I already have like two other editions of this movie. <laughs> I actually have one that comes in a briefcase, but um, I, my understanding is I've, I've read a couple of reviews and they're saying that the, the the 4K transfer is really amazing on this thing. So I figured I think I got it for like twelve fifty dollars. I figured I might as well pick it up. So pretty stoked on that. It's got the slipcover and everything, although it looks the same. But um, I did not go for the looks edition. It's worth the regular, but got Scarface. Speaking of that, I just read today, so, um, I'm, you know, I've, I've said on here before, I'm a big Arnold Schwarzenegger, Arnold Schwarzenegger fan, and um, what was it, the Red Heat came out a couple weeks ago in 4K, and I just, I finally got to read some reviews on that. Apparently, that's the 4K to get right now, so um, be on the lookout for that. The next movie I got, and this is part of, um, I can't remember where I got this one, actually, but I've been, I've been wanting it for a long time, it's on my list for a long time, and I finally got it on Blu-ray, that is Colors. I don't know if you ever seen this movie. It was pretty controversial back in the day. I think it came out in, what, the 90s? Yeah, no. 88. Pretty controversial back then. Um, it's about two cops, inner city LA, you know, doing their business. Um, I really love this movie. But the reason why I like this movie is Robert Duvall. I think Robert Duvall in this movie is absolutely amazing. He's really cool, great actor. I, I became a fan of his because of this movie. And I've always really liked this movie. And the cool thing about this movie is... So then rated cut with a bunch of additional features on the DVD I used to have that didn't have it on there. So pretty stoked it's a Shout Select. So I know Shout does good stuff. So colors. Um, the next movie I got, and I got this actually recently at Best Buy. I just went on sale at Best Buy and I had to pick it up. It's the steelbook of all three Santa Claus movies. In a steelbook. It's actually really cool. The Santa Claus on here is embossed. On the back it's, it says Tim Allen on all three of the movies. But I saw this and I had to pick it up. I mean, it's... The Santa Claus movies, and I always really enjoy these during the holidays. And Steelbook, I couldn't pass it up, so picked up that. That was Best Buy. I think it was like $27. Bucks. Um, next movie, I got this off of Amazon recently because I had forgotten how much I enjoyed this movie when I was a kid. And I wanted to see it again. And that's a movie called Space Raiders. Um, uh, cool thing about this one is there's only 2,000 copies of it out there. It's really cheesy. It's about this group of, like, you know... 
I don't know, these guys are just kind of mercenaries that stumble upon this kid when they're trying to steal something off this planet, and they befriend the kid, and they're trying to bring the kid home, and all this, uh, all this stuff starts to happen, and people start getting knocked off and stuff, and it's cheesy. I actually watched this last week, and it's really, really cheesy, but I forgot how much I enjoyed it, because I remember this was on it was on HBO or something like that back in the day, back in the day. I used to watch it. I watched it several times, and I'd forgotten about it. And then when I recently was thumbing through some, thumbing through a book about old eighties cheesy eighties sci fi flicks, this popped up, and I was like, "Oh man!" So, Space Raiders. Um, the funny thing about Space Raiders is it's done by Roger Corman, and a lot of the the shots of ships in the movie were actually uh, reused footage he used from um, oh, a couple of other movies. And I, I was like, "Oh wait a minute." So I thought that was pretty funny, but it was still a fun movie. Um, this one I picked up because I got it for like 10 bucks. It was on some weird sale, and I, I collect all these. So it's Legends Tomorrow Season 4, Blu-ray. Um, normally I get these on Black Friday for 10 bucks, and it's the DVD. This was on 7 for 10 bucks as the Blu-ray. So I was like, gotta get it. So I'm a big fan of this show. Really do enjoy it. Crossover's coming up. Really excited about that. Um, but yeah, picked it up. Uh, next I got, this is another one, it's another DC t animated TV series, and I started watching Titans, because I have the CW, uh, the, um, the DC app, so I started watching Titans, and there was an episode with these, this crew in it, so of course I naturally had to get this when it came out, and that is Doom Patrol, um, I can't remember if I showed this to you guys on one of my pickup videos at my weekly news, but just in case I didn't, I did pick up Doom Patrol, um, I haven't watched it yet, I'm gonna watch it when Titans finally ends, their second season ends, I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch through this one. But um, I heard really good things about it. And I'm really stoked. I know it was renewed for a season two. And I think they're currently filming it or they finished filming it. So I had to pick that up. And again, I mean, I have a Superman ring. I have a Superman tattoo. I have I have a lot of DC superhero stuff. So I'm a big DC fan. So um, this to me was a no-brainer. Uh, next was a, just a random pickup that I heard recently. This went out of print. Um, it's a Screen Factory edition of Clutch Edition of Squirm. I heard it just recently. Was it um, Screen Factory just announced a, a couple of days ago that some of their movies are going out of print because they lost the licensing rights to the movies, and this was one of them, along with um, oh gosh, you know what? I'll get you the list. I'll get you the list. But there's a there's a list of about ten movies that are now currently. And I have like five of them actually that are now going out of print because again they lost the the rights to the movies. So um, this was one of them. I really wish at this moment I could remember the other ones, but I will do, I promise I'll do a special video next week on what's going to be, uh, what other ones were. It was like nine or ten other ones, but I did pick up Squirm and I'm glad I did now. Um, let's see here next. And I got this, uh, this is not Barnes and Noble, um, Big Lots. I got this at Big Lots. I walked at Big Lots about a month and a half ago and saw this, I had to pick it up and that is Zoolander, the steel book, the, 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 what is it? The, the, uh, the blue steel book. Um, I've always been a big fan of Zoolander, the second one, and, but the first one I've always been a really big fan of, um, so I had to pick that up because it's really, really, ridiculously good. Um, but I've always been a big fan. I love Zoolander. I, I think it's an absolutely hilarious movie, so Steelbook was a no-brainer. I think it was $5, so shoot. The next one, I can't remember if I showed you this one, but I want to show it to you again, even if I did. I picked this up at Walmart about a month ago, and that is Children of the Corn Steelbook, and I'm, now I remember I did show it to you guys, so I might show the little faces, but... Again, I picked this up real quick. Love it. Okay, I just remembered that. Ugh. Next, I picked up another one. This movie's been on my list for a really, really long time, too, and I finally got it for a good deal, and that is Trespass. Um, again, love this movie. Great 90s flick. Bill Paxton, rest in peace. Um, was it, uh, let's see, Bill Paxton, Ice-T, William Sadler, Ice Cube. Just a great movie always really liked this there was three movies in this set that all came out around the same time it was trespass um judgment night and um colors oh, no colors came out in 88 this came out in 90 92 so it's kind of right around the same time but especially trespass i've never seen trespass and judgment night in theaters at the same year so i really like both those movies so again it's a shot select so it was a no-brainer picked it up all right, next one, and this was a comedy, and that's why I find this really funny. I picked this up a couple weeks before it happened. I did serve on a jury for a week, about two weeks ago. Uh, it was a, um elder abuse case. But um, so, but I was thinking about this because I literally got this about a week or two before I actually got selected for the jury, and I thought it was really, absolutely hilarious. It's jury duty. Yeah, buddy. Um, I absolutely love this movie. It's stupid. It's ridiculous. It does have the, I love the Mill Creek, the, um, VHS cover arts and these things. I really love them. I wish they didn't have this up here, though. But, um, yeah, jury duty. Had to get it. Love it, buddy. 
All right, next. Um, the next few movies here were part of a Scream Factory sale that was on a little while ago. I think that was it. Um, the, these, uh, I got one other one, but it wasn't a big deal. But these were like movies that I picked up on a Scream Factory sale that was about, I want to say about three or four weeks ago. Um, so I got the, so the first one I got was Screamers. I've always been a big fan of the movie. Peter Weller, I actually watched it. The transfer looked really cool. It's a 2K transfer transfer but it still looked really good um been a big fan of movies salt in theaters way back in the day but i finally I, I, the sale price was finally like i'm gonna pull the trigger on this so there's that next i i i i kicked myself for waiting so long to pick this up because i didn't get the slip cover on this one it really upsets me but i always love this movie and that is house on haunted hill um again love this movie i'm really disappointed in myself because i should have pulled the trigger on this a year ago i would have gotten the slip cover for it Oh, well, but at least I still have it. My wife and I watched this on Halloween. Loved it. It was a lot of fun. The, the, the transfer looks really cool. Just a good movie. Really good movie. So, House on Hill. Um, the next one I got, and this is one something my wife really wanted to get. She's a big fan of this movie, and I am too. And that is The Seventh Sign with Demi Moore. Um, will you die for him? I mean, it, it, it's just a quote from the movie. I've actually really been a big fan. I actually saw this in theaters too. I'm really dating myself here, by the way. But I saw this in theaters. I really liked it. I've had it on DVD for years. My DVD actually had a tear on the cover. I don't know why. But this was a good price. My wife said, we should get that one. So I grabbed it. And the last one I got, um, and that is Valentine. And this one did have a slip cover. Yay! Um, so, uh, again, I, I've been, I put this off for a little while. Because it didn't come out too long. I put it off for a little while. It was a really good price. And I had to pull the trigger. My wife and I are both big fans of this thing. Because we're both fans of David Boreanaz. We watched the entire Angel series at least twice. So, um, again, it's a no-brainer. We watched this a couple weeks ago, too. And it was just as good as I remember it. Cheesy as all get out, but it's still a lot of fun. So, Valentine. So, kind of what I picked up. I didn't pick up a whole lot in that Shout Factory still Because a lot of stuff I already owned. Some of the stuff I just feel that they, they discounted it enough. So, I know the other one that I got. But I think I showed you a while ago was Cobra. And I did get the slipcover on that one. Um, but I think I showed it to you guys a while back. And then this was a separate Scream Factory purchase just because I absolutely love this movie. I'm a fan of the original and I'm a big fan of the sequel and I had to get it. And that is The Blob. I am a big fan of this movie. I I remember first time seeing this and I was like, man, I am all over this movie. And I, I actually have a region free disc from Umbrella Entertainment from Australia of this movie. But it's it's uh, it's region free. But the the transfer two K scan transfer, I think this is four K scan transfer, or at least it's close enough to it. Um, it does look considerably better than the version that I already have. So this again was a no brainer for me. I really like this movie, so I picked that up. The Blob. Uh, next was another movie that I picked up. Um, this was a Rasputin pickup, and I couldn't believe I found it because it's you know finding a Fellucci movie for me is like a hidden treasure at this point. I've become a big fan of. His. And this one is City of the Living Dead. It was used, but I think I got it for 3 or $4. I couldn't pass it up. Really stoked. Any chance to get myself my hands on a new Fellucci movie I don't have, I'm all over it. So City of the Living Dead. I've never even seen this one, but I'm stoked to own it. I'm trying to get the majority. I know I'm not going to get all of his movies because there's some of the movies that are like region locked and they're real expensive and overseas. And I can't, um, I can't, it's hard for me to justify that. But if I can get them for a good price, I'm always going to grab them. So I grabbed that. Another one I got um, from Rasputin also, and I have no idea about it, but it looks sounds really interesting. It's a Blue Underground, and Blue Underground does quite a bit of good stuff. And then it's Baba Yaga. Um, I love the title because it's a show that I used to watch um, called uh, The League, and they used, to, they used to say Baba Yaga every once in a while on the show. I doubt they were mentioning this, but it's just funny that the same kind of title they were using. But again, apparently it was pretty, it was banned or something like that back in the day. So I think five or six bucks I got it for, so I picked it up. Um, next, I was pretty stoked to get this. I got this a while back on Amazon because Amazon had a really just wickedly good deal on it. And that is the Wishmaster collection. And I got the slipcover with it, which was pretty cool because it's been out for a while. But, uh, um, I have only owned the first Wishmaster. I never owned the second two. So now I own all three of them. But I want to say I have like 13 or 14 bucks. And I just, it was for three movies. It's Vestron, which are really good releases. Vestron does a really good job doing their collector series. So I figured let's go for it. So I picked up that. In the same recourse, I've been putting this off for one. I finally got this one. This is another Vestron I got from uh, Vestron series that I got from uh, Amazon. This one I knew for sure I wasn't gonna get the the um, the slip cover for because it's been out for I want to say two or three years already, and I just kept putting off, putting off, putting off. 
Finally, it got down to a price where I need to get this movie because I have the other two uh, and Blu-ray at this point. I only have this on DVDs. So I need to get that. And that is Return of the Living Dead 3. Um, I have the first two on the the, Shout Factory, the Scream Factory editions, but I did not have this one because Scream Factory does not own the rights to this one. Uh, Vestron Video does. So, um, yeah, I finally got the price I got. And I got the slipcover. I can't believe I actually got the slipcover. When it came in, I was floored. I was like, no way. But big fan of this movie. I remember this movie came out, saw it in theaters. Um, really, really liked it. I had a really good friend of mine. We both, went, we both went and saw it. We both loved it. And I still, I watched it not too long ago, and I still really like it. It's a lot cheesier than I remember when I first saw it, but still, it's a really cool flick. It's a great addition to the to the Return of the Living Dead series. It's probably the last really good one out of this series. The the next ones after this were all made for TV movies, and they just, yeah, not there. But this was always really good. It's a lot of fun. So Return of the Living Dead. And it went in a different direction in this movie, so that's what I really appreciated, too. So I got that. Next um, is another one of my Rasputin pickups. I don't know what this is about, but uh, it's a Severn film, and I figured, why not? Um, got it for a good deal, and that's Wild Beasts. Never seen it. Um, I will be watching it soon, but um, I got it for a really good deal. It was still it was brand new. They had it at a used it, had, it was used, but it was still shrink wrap brand new. So whoever traded it in got rid of it. Never even bothered to open it. So I picked that up. And finally, the last move. You know what? No, I'm gonna do one more thing. Um, Let's see here. I did just get this in the mail. Um, I'm going to show you this anyway. I did get the Nutty Professor 2 collection. Finally. Uh, it was delayed, but I finally got this. I'm stoked. I got this on Amazon, but it's a shout select, but it's both movies. I love these movies so much. I picked that up. I just got that recently, but I wanted to show you that. Because I got a couple of things I can show you on Monday I picked up this week so far. And the last one I want to show you, the piece de resistance, the grand finale, is, I forgot to show this to you two weeks ago when I bought it. On my um, weekly new, uh, weekly news DVD news, but it is the Blue Underground Two Evil Eyes. Look at that! Bah, 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 bah. I finally got it. I watched it this weekend. I absolutely loved it. I mean, it's Argento and Romero. I mean, can it get any better than that? If they throw in Felucci in there, probably been the best. But this was really good. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, two great stories. Each each story is an hour long. One's directed by George Romero. The other one's directed by um, <clears throat> Dario Argento. Excuse me. Um, so I really enjoyed both of them. They're both based upon Edgar Allan Poe's short stories. So really love it. And I love you get the lenticular cover art and you open it up. Look, this is completely different, completely different cover on there. Um, we got the back and then when you open it up, you get the two discs here, which is the Blu-ray and the DVD. You get this really cool booklet and under here is the CD soundtrack to the movie. Uh, I love that they do this and I really do. And this is a 4K scan transfer and it looked amazing for a movie that was He's filmed the 70s, I think, or early 80s. Uh, it doesn't really say on back here, does it? Uh, wonderful. But it was, it looked really good. Harvey Keitel's in this, and Adrian Barbeau, which my dad used to really love Adrian Barbeau. Um, but really well done. Two really cool stories. I was totally into this movie. I really enjoyed it. I can't wait to watch it again. But um, I really highly recommend it. But Two Evil Eyes was absolutely awesome. So that is it. That's some recent pickups. There's a few other ones, and I'll do a pickup video later on. Um, but that's what I could pick up from now. Leave me some comments down below. What do you think of the movies I got? You watched, have you seen any of these things? Let me know what your thoughts are. Also, just to be on the lookout, I'm going to say again, Walmart officially posted their Black Friday ad today. So be on the lookout next week. I will be doing a video where I'll be talking about the best deals between Target, uh, Best Buy, and Walmart. I would do Amazon, but Amazon won't have anything up yet. I want to make sure I get this out there so you, know, you guys know what to look forward to. If you're a 4K fan between Walmart and Best Buy, I can say this early, you're going to be in luck. There's a lot of really, really good 4K um, titles for, you know, seven, seven to $10, which is unheard of. Even a couple years ago, I remember Black Friday. Hey, we got this new movie. It's 20 bucks on Black Friday. I was like, I ain't on sale. So um, I'm really stoked. So I will be on the lookout for that video next week. I'll be doing a price comparison and a breakdown of what, what I feel like the top maybe 30 or 40 movies that are going to be on sale. Um, otherwise, thank you guys all for watching. Click the like button if you enjoyed the video. Click the subscribe button if you want to see more videos by me. Beep, beep. Um, click the little bell and they'll, they'll notify you every time I do put up a video. I just want to again, thank you guys all for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Everybody take care out there. We're getting close to the holidays now. So, you know, keep an eye on everything. Um, again, thank you guys all for watching. Um, always keep hunting because you never know what you find. And as always, live long and prosper. Bye.